Jake, he's psychotic. He bit you two minutes yeah. ago. Michael and Lisa didn't really seem to be that concerned. It's okay. Josh. If he puts his collar on, he'll calm down. This dog does not deserve to be treated in this way. Don't talk. Because if you talk, I'm going to punch you. This dog is ready to implode. Right at this moment, I feel like, why am I even here? My god, you should have told me. You didn't think that this was going to be a deal? I just think some people are playing stupid. I was like, great, she's just going to leave. It's just not going to work. Stop it. We're the Sanders family. I'm Michael. Oh, I almost no, got bit. Is. My wife, Lisa. You have to do it slowly. My daughter, Jessica. We live in Jericho, New York. We have one dog. His name is Jake. He's a Maltese Chihuahua mix. Jake can sometimes be a good dog, but more often than not, he's psychotic. <laughs> what, Jess? It's hard to have other people around because you're afraid someone might get bit. <laughs> He's bitten me, he's bitten the kids, he's bitten my brother-in-law. I am kind of worried that Jake's gonna hurt me Sunday. He didn't go to bite you just now. Yes, he did. If he got somebody in a wrong spot, he could really hurt somebody. I really don't want to get bit. I'm sorry, I don't. But if I get bit, it's okay. <laughs> it's sort of like a good cop, bad cop. Shush. Stop, stop. Michael is the bad cop, try to discipline me on it, and I'm like, oh no, Jake, it's okay. He doesn't like anybody but you. This dog I've had that likes me the best. My wife disciplines the dog by giving him popcorn, carrots. In other words, she doesn't. She doesn't discipline the dog. If you don't give him something, he'll bark and bark and bark until you give him something. So I just appease him. And he's not going to scream at a dog. He Nip. bit me. I didn't do anything. I went to touch the dog. When Michael tries to discipline him and Michael will yell, stop. The dog will get worse. <laughs> he'll bark incessantly. Michael, can you shut the dog up? Nope. No one can really come in the house at all. I can't have friends over. He just bites my friends. <laughs> He's just not a good dog. <laughs> right now, because of Jake, my wife and I sleep in separate rooms. OK, well, we don't need You're off the show now, dog. <laughs> It's about my room. This is my room. Michael would try to come to bed like 10, 11 o'clock, and the dog would go to attack him. Good night. Uh, all right, all right. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Michael's like, forget it. I'm just going to sleep in the other room. It's not worth it. It's embarrassing not to have Michael sleep in my room. You know, we're married 14 years, and where's your husband sleep? Oh, he sleeps in a princess room. I do sleep in a princess room. It's pink. It's got a nice chandelier. I do not want my dad to sleep in my room. I would rather him sleep with my mom so I could sleep in my own room. Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> Victoria has to fix him. Michael has to sleep in my room again, or we're going to wind up getting divorced, because it's ridiculous. We don't know what, what else to do with this dog. If I step out of line, Stop. he's going to bite me. If my daughter steps out of line, he's biting her. If Victoria can't help us, she's taking the dog. Victoria's taking it, just so you know. I can pick him up. Want me to try him? Here. No, 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 stop, stop. He bit me. He bit you. <laughs> no, sit down. Amazing. How did that happen? She went to pick him up. I feel guilty <laughs> that Jessica got bit, but she didn't get bit every day. I know she shouldn't get bit at all, but I don't, what was I supposed to do? Give him away? You can't give him away. It's going to stink for a second, honey. Oh, stop it. Can you get it? Hello. Hi. Oh, my God. How are you? I'm here in, I'm here in sanity. Like Hello. A little bit. Oh, Already. A little bit. Nice to meet you. Hello. Thank you. Hi, well, nice be careful. Nice to meet you. And here's this. This is Jake. This dog's bark went straight through my head. I knew that if I moved too fast, it was going to bite me. I can see coming right through here. Yeah, this dog's got anxiety. Why do you think he's biting? He doesn't bite me. I don't know. It's only in or... certain, like, emotional situations where... No. We all... Who was just no, sitting no. there? No, no, hold on. I was Sit sitting there. I tried to pick him up. He bit me. He just bit you? Yeah, yeah, right now. He bit you? Two minutes yeah. ago. Like... Let's have a look. Oh! 
It's not one of the real. It's like this big. Don't she's gotten bit a few times. I do not think Victoria liked hearing that I got bit a lot. How many times? Like four. In what situations? Like me trying to pick him up. No, the most or... situations are when mom's with you, yeah, and pretty... you would try and pick him up. What point? The dog That's protects me. my wife. What is he protecting me from? I'm That's sitting with her. <laughs> it's me. It's my daughter. There is no touching the dog around her. Michael and Lisa didn't really seem to be that concerned that their child had just got bitten by their dog. If he puts his collar on, he'll calm down. OK. OK. Michael proceeded to put a very large shock collar on their dog. And of course, I was appalled. This is the only thing that ever works. And no doubt, it's a last resort. It's not something I think I would want to do, but. Don't talk, because if you talk, I'm going to punch you. Feel free. People defend their use of electronic shock collars. It's always a threat. You better do it, and you better do it, because if you don't, you're going to get it. So communicate how you feel, because that's, that's going to hurt you. Do you get it? I see yeah, the point. That's what the shot caller's doing. When she was waving her finger in my face, it was a little upsetting. I didn't like it. I've tried everything. I tried spray, water bottle, the scented collar, the noise-making collar. I do think the way my dad disciplines Jake is harsh and, like, mean. What do you think that's actually doing to him inside? We're giving him more stress. Yeah, it suppresses behavior for that moment, but you haven't actually got to the cause of the problem why he's barking, why he feels the need to be aggressive. When are people going to get smart and start realizing that using these devices is just plain wrong? Tell me, what did you see in Jake's behavior when you put it on? Would you say it was an improvement? Oh, it was absolutely for an us. improvement. Yeah, for, for us, us, it was an improvement. From what it was. Yeah. In fact, something very sinister is taking place instead. When you put a shock collar on a dog and it experiences that shock, not only does it have very negative impacts to the brain, but it also forms such a negative association that the dog shuts down and ceases to learn. So I'm taking your shock collar and I'm doing, symbolically, oh. what I want to do to today. every single shock collar that is put on a dog. Oh, my God. And I am going to. I looked at Michael. I said, oh, my God. That's like our salvation. We saw that go. We said, oh, now we got to stick to this. We have to. We have no choice. The, the collar is gone. I'm going to do it because oh, it feels so good. good. I can probably fix that. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Take it away. Throw it in the trash. Can I throw it in the trash? Yeah. The you can throw it there. in the garbage. Go on, then. I overheard my dad saying, oh my god, no, she, why is she smashing it? I'm going to go buy another one. Family had relied on the shock collar. And I wanted to see what Jake did without any kind of intervention. Thank you. Jake is on the defensive all the time. You move, he'll react. I want to calm him down, but I could feel in his body he gets all tense. Yes. So then I know just kind of stay away. So that, not good. So wait a second. What did he just do when you first touched him? He moved away from you, didn't he? Yeah. What do you think he was trying to say to you when he moved away? Don't touch me. Exactly. So why did you go out and touch him again? When you ignore what a dog is trying to say to you, that's going to get you bit. I noticed more things that she told me today that I never, I never noticed about him before. How do we fix him? There's no fixing. You don't fix dogs like you fix a television or you fix a piece of furniture. You modify behavior. You teach that animal to be able to exist and cope. Oh. Who's this? Jake's behavior was bad when I came in, but when Lisa's brother Peter came through the door, he went ballistic. Uh, Jakey! Hi, Jakey. Won't he bite you? Well, he, sometimes when I get close. Do you come here a lot? Do you come here often? Yeah, sometimes. You do? I usually terrorize the dog. What do you do? I, in the front, I open up the mail slot and I'll yell at the dog or 
tease it a little bit. Yesterday he came in and he did his, oh, Jakey, Jakey. <laughs> and the dog peed. He peed. Every time you come over, he pees. Pooped on himself. You laugh and you have fun because it's fun because it's a little dog. Yeah. Would you come in if this was a Rottweiler? No. You wouldn't because it would have your throat. I was appalled when Peter admitted to terrorizing Jake. I was about to get him and throw him out the front door. It's not that difficult to see that if you have somebody come in and tease your dog, that's going to be a negative association. Like, what do you do? I, in the front middle, I open up the mail slot and I'll yell at the dog or tease it a little bit. I work hard at what I do and I can make huge progress. But the thing that really makes my job a lot harder are people like you coming in and teasing the dog. This is a dog that has bitten children, has bitten all the family, and has bitten you. Yes. Has it bitten yes. you how many times? Three or four times. Jolly good. Because I would have bitten you too. You tease me, you put your fingers through the letterbox. I don't think the family realized how hard I was going to be on Peter. And Peter certainly didn't, otherwise he would have never come round. Each time you tease this dog, you rile it up, you're just showing that every single time somebody comes in here, the person is just going to cause me fear, make me more anxious, cause me stress. So it's a negative association with everybody who comes through that door. I was shocked that a dog wants to be so scared to death that that happens that I feel really guilty. Do you realize how you're exacerbating this dog's behavior? Yes, but the dog's been a little kooky from the start. Kooky? So you're going to make it more kooky? Oh, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize to me. Apologize to them, because they're living it with it every day. I guess he kind of felt the same way I did when she was waving her finger in my face. You know, you want to shrink up and hide in a corner. Coming in here and teasing this dog's like a, it's just bullying. Funny. Sometimes yeah. he'll chase He'll him. chase me Jiggy! or he'll come after me. And... You know, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> when Michael and Lisa talk about the issues, they keep laughing. I don't get how you can laugh about the fact that your dog's stressed out. Can they not see that this is making Jake's behavior worse? I'm going to do some work with you. I'm going to ask you if you can come over again sure. one of these days. So I can't do this anymore? No. The teasing finishes. Michael's the person who administers the tough love on Jake. And that's not helping the situation. But Lisa, she's doing nothing. I mean, if you'd like to see, they can go in the bedroom. He'll come charging off that bed when you and I walk in. So if you could take him. OK. Yeah. Come on, Jakey. Up, 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 up. When it's bedtime and I come into the room, his eyes go back, his ears go back, I will get bit. Let's Tell him to be quiet. Shh, shh, shh. I would not dare to touch him right now. I believe that this poor dog has been shouted at, has been shocked. It's OK. You just have to look at the way Jake responds to him to know that there is a history there, and it is not a good one. How long have you guys slept in here, and you slept in the other room? Oh, wow. um, Two years. It just got easier. Oh, Jessica hasn't slept in her own room for two years. She has to sleep with her mother because of the dog. That is absolutely ridiculous. Would you like to have your room back? Would you like to be able to sleep in your room? Mm-hmm. Have you told your parents, I'd like to sleep in my room? Yep. And what, what have they said back to you? It's because of the dog. I can't have the dog sleep in there with her. No. And he can't stay in here with us. And if we put him somewhere else, he's just going to bark and bark and bark. You're out of options. Yes. I'm disgusted that Jessica seems to have been put aside of what she needs in her life because of Jake. OK, take a seat. You could talk to me very plainly. You don't have your parents here talking for you. Tell me how you feel about this whole situation. Um, bad because I can't sleep in my room. I have to sleep with my mom. I can't talk to my friends at night on my computer because she says the light shines in her eyes and it's embarrassing for me. I've told my mom that I want to go back into my room and she's like, 
you can't because of Jake. How would you feel if I said, I'm going to work very hard to make sure you get your room back? I'd be so happy. Yeah, well, I have your back now. When Victoria told me she's on my side, I was like, yes! Someone's on my side, finally! Sometimes I go into homes and I think, oh my gosh, not because of the dog, but because of the people. When it comes to dealing with Jake, this family is doing everything wrong. I want to just sit and talk to you a little bit about what's going on here. What I observe here today, I've seen, really seen enough. We've already had a dog with a multiple, multiple bite history. You've given up. You're trying to correct the behavior, it's just not working. You're totally inconsistent all the attempts to correct his behavior. Shouting at it, pointing at it, staring at it, and using shock collars. That builds up a dog's negative association. A dog only has to have one traumatic experience with you for that fear to be in its memory for the rest of its life. You're frustrating the hell out of him, and right, you leave the room, I and he's going to damn well bite Correct. anybody else who's near here. All oh, the amount of frustration in yes. that dog. This dog is ready to implode. Whoa, 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 slow down there, Skippy. You're making it sound like I've mistreated this dog. OK, I have not mistreated this dog. The whole shh, that was something that I read. Not something that I just. I know, I you know. know. And it wasn't correcting or fixing his behavior, but he would stop. He'd stop for a second. Yes. Correct. Does it change how he feels? No. Have you given him an alternative way to behave? No. It's just suppressing negative behavior, but you're not actually teaching him how to behave. You're just focusing on punishment. You're not focusing on teaching the dog what to do. I don't think Michael is used to other people coming into his home and telling him what to do. You've allowed your child to be bitten five times. Plus, and to me, I love dogs with a passion, but nothing comes before a child. Absolutely. Yes. And she can't even sleep in her own room. It's just, it's very, I had it's no idea to see it. And you know what? I have three days, three days to undo three years of life experience. Three days. I'm going to give you the tools with which to work. You use them, you're going to see success. You don't, it's going to stay as it is, and it's going to get worse. I have three days to undo three years of life experience. I'm going to give you the tools with which to work. You use them, you're going to see success. Do you think that he won't do it? Yeah. What? Do you think that he won't do it? Are you it? kidding me? I think he'll do it, but you'll still shh and yell. Michael's problem with listening is Michael thinks he's always right, and oh, this is the way you should do it, because this is what I read, and this is what I researched. I have no problem reworking okay. how I so handle the you talk. But you have to. What, no. You have no, to no, no, unlearn no. all the no, things no, no, you no, no, used no, no. to do. That's not what I'm saying. I don't know if Michael and Lisa are capable of working together as a team, and I really hope that they're going to take the training on that I tell them to do, because if they don't, more people are going to get bitten. OK. You're saying that you don't think I'll do it? What I'm saying is that you'll do it for a week, and that's it. I think Lisa will have the hardest time with the training. There's a history of her not being consistent with her behavior. No, no, I'm going to do it. OK. So we'll see. On the pinky square. I don't have the pinky square. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's up to you. I wanted to bring a friend of mine. And I wanted to talk to you about how you're handling Jake. But obviously, we're not going to do it with Jake because this dog's not going to bite us. <laughs> I have seen the family manhandle, mishandle, overtouch, overcaress, and get in their poor dog's face from the time that I came here. He doesn't like being really touched and stroked. You're like this. I thought he likes it. <laughs> and oh, he like this all the time. I thought you just pet a dog like everyone comes, pets a dog. But um, actually annoying the dog every time I pet him. When you do this, do that all the time. Absolutely. Really riles a dog up. If you really want to calm him down, do that. OK. Just do it a little bit and then go about your business. And then you 
Yes. You're like this. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's right. what you were doing all over his face. You were getting mm -hmm. your hands in there and he was like, just stop, please. Don't come near me and don't touch Leave me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And you're not listening. Mm -hmm. So what else does he have left? Bite. To bite you. So remember, you've got to give him space. You can touch him a little bit, but the less you touch this dog, the less he's going to react. It takes a while for dogs to change habits. It also takes a while for humans to do the same. So I think it's going to be hard. When I first walked through the door, Jake went nuts. How are you? I hear insanity. Peter came through the door, he did the same thing. Jakey! In order to address the behavior, I need to take baby steps. Since Lisa has the best relationship with Jake, I want to start working with her first before I go on to the rest of the family. When I'm working with aggressive dogs, it's really important that they trust me. I wanted Jake not to freak out each time I left and came back into the house. So immediately I set to work by teaching them that if he was quiet, he would get a reward. So I'm just going to put the food up to my eyes so that he gets used to looking at me. Good boy. I'm going to leave by the front door I want you to watch what I do. Nice. The refocusing technique is great because instead of the dog focusing on all of the emotion it feels, it's focusing on actually trying to find a piece of food, which gets its thinking brain into gear. If I was just walking out now, he'd be barking yes. at me. Good boy. This is how you change your dog's brain, right? Without using shock collars. I'm using praise too. Good boy. I've never seen you since I've come in here praise this dog once. I'm gonna mark every single behavior that I see in this dog that I like. If I go and open the door, I think he could bark, yeah. So I'm not gonna do it. You don't go out, you just wait. You wait for that calm behavior. The only way he's gonna get this really nice tasty stuff is he needs to come back to the stair and be quiet. I like the turn away. I wait for his, him to turn away from the door and from me. Good. The more I tell him, no, shut up, stop, the more he's gonna bark at me. I want him to be quiet, it's okay. Quiet, good. There you go, nice. Quiet, go find it. Good boy. Come back. I'm just going to come in. Quiet. Good. Nice. Nice. And that's how you get coming in, too. You could see he'd walk over like, should I bark? And then he would turn away like, no, I'm not going to bark. And I was shocked that he, that he was learning. That was amazing. Go find it. I never thought he'd be able to learn that much in that short amount of time. Much better than putting a shock collar on it, OK? But be under no illusion that you have to continually reinforce this in order for it to be successful. It's going to be a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> okay. All right. Coming up. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't. You didn't think that this was going to be a deal? She's really mad. It's just not going to work. OK, the biggest deal is really when people come round, his reaction to the, somebody knocking on the door, I want to teach you how to manage it, OK? And uh, I have your friend Perry outside, who I know comes and looks after him when you're not here. Yeah. And I've prepped him for what I want him to do. OK. But I'm going to take you through what I want you to do. And then, Michael, you're going to take over, OK? Michael, for so long, has had such a confrontational relationship with Jake. <laughs> I wanted him to experience training his dog in a positive way and seeing the results. I'm going to walk down and let Perry in. Yeah, you're going to wait until he comes Calm down. down. Correct. Okay. And then All I right. give him a treat. Yeah. <laughs> Throw a piece of food to him as soon as you see him. Good boy. Good boy, Jakey. Nice. Good boy. Good boy. Like your tone of voice, Michael. That's great. <laughs> wait till he's quiet. Good boy. Good. Good boy, Jakey. Shut the door behind your guest. 
Okay. Now Perry takes over. Good. Perry, throw it past Michael so that the dog goes past you, which means you can walk a little bit. And you can make a bit of stall the piano. Good. Good boy. By getting a dog to do something that they like, seeking out food, you completely change the brain from absolute freak out to work mode. How easy was that? It was easy. Yeah. Now I see that Jake wants to be more like understood as opposed to dominated. There has been a definite change in his behavior, and it's definitely been for the positive. All right, it's all come to this. This has been the bone of contention. It's going to change. I want Jessica to get back in her own bed. It's ridiculous that she's been sleeping with her mother for two years. And there's very, very simple training in order to help her do that. Dogs respond to vocal cues, visual cues, and auditory cues like this. Which he hears when I'm in the cabin. Well, he's now going to hear it when you come into the room. I want you to practice this. Rattle, throw. I wanted to teach Jake that if he was quiet when Michael approached him, he got good things. And the crinkling of the bag will be associated with food, with good things in Jake's mind. Rattle, good. Take a step forward and throw. Throw, good. Now sit on the bed. Good, as you're sitting on the bed, good. Oh, great. I was pretty impressed to see that Jake did not really show any hostility or any aggression. That's how you get in and out of bed every night. What do I do when Lisa starts wanting some of that? Do I gotta throw it to her too? Do what you like. <laughs> yeah. Before he tried the food technique, he couldn't even get in the room. And now when Michael came in with the crinkling, the minute the dog heard that, I'm like, oh, he's not getting crazy. Now, here's the deal. Jessica, from now on, mm -hmm. You're not going to be sleeping in this bed anymore, OK? Yes! <laughs> From now on, you're sleeping back in your bedroom. I wanted to jump up and down so badly. When Victoria told me I get my own room back, I'm like, yes! If I hear, <laughs> and believe you me, I am going to be keeping an eye on you, if I hear that Jessica is back here sleeping oh, no. with her no, mother. No, no, she won't. I swear, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to remove you forcibly from her bed, put you in here, and put Jessica back. You know, she wants to sleep in her room, and I can't blame her. Thank God Victoria came, because I think this is going to work. That's what you're going to be doing. Make sure you do it every time. If you're flaky with it, it's not going to work. Okay. I want this dog to see every approach is a good one. And you're leaving so that he doesn't ever, ever rehearse negative behavior again. We've seen amazing progress, amazing progress with Jake. It's a new morning. I wanted to check how the door training was going by me knocking on the door. Hey, hi. Good morning. Hey. Have you got another ah! dog? For no, it's just Grandma's for 20 dog. days. My for parents you. went to Africa, and Taylor barks a lot. <laughs> Why did you tell me? I, I figured can, I'd hide can, them. We can separate them. We can separate them. Um, we did that last night while we were working with Jake. Okay, Taylor was antagonizing him a little bit and continuing the barking, which was... Which is really not great for the whole training process. Correct. My God, you should have told me. We're going to separate them. That, do you know? No. Why didn't you Jake, tell me? Boy. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't. You didn't think that this was going to be a deal? You've got another dog now that's a barker, too. It's going to make. But wait, he... wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm the trainer. I, I know the deal. You've got a dog with severely, you know, difficult problems. And that dog needs to have absolutely 100% focus and attention and bringing another dog in here that's going to just goad him with barking and stuff. It, 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 I, I'm like, I, seriously, seriously. We should have told you. I thought Victoria would be mad if all of a sudden I said, well, I'm going to have this other dog at my house. We thought we could hide him for a couple days, but she caught us and she's really mad. You're just going to set the training right back? 
because Jake is going to be antagonized by what's his name? Taylor. Taylor. Hi, baby. Hi, I was Jake. saying last night when we worked on the, uh... Taylor, it's okay. And I felt bad because she's like, after all our hard work and Jake was doing so well and now he's going to have a setback. So it's like, great. As far as when he came last night and we worked with Jake, you know, me going in and out of the bedroom. Was he in the bedroom too? No, no, he no, was, no. he stayed, okay. he actually stayed with Jessica and he was so not Jessica, a problem. you got a dog in your bedroom? Yep. Sleeping with you at night? I finally get Jess back in her own room, dogless. And Taylor's sleeping with her. <laughs> that's not Jake, that's Taylor. Taylor. Come. Now, now you've got another dog in your house. Come, Listen to your voice. Come, Taylor, come. So now you're going to, after the stuff that I've done with I'm your voice, separate. to try and... No, I'm going to separate him. Jake's going to hear your voice if you're... No, OK, this is it. I... I... It's going to be twice as hard. I know that. It's just, it's just not going to work. I was like, great, she's just going to leave, because she kept saying, well, you're on your own, you know, you have two dogs. I was like, oh, great, she's not going to help us anymore, Michael. Like, she's really mad. Um, I'm going to go out and um, just sort of gather my thoughts to see what we're going to do. But right at this moment, I feel like, why am I even here? And I feel like just, you know, going, you know what? Good luck, and leaving. I'm going to go out and um, just sort of gather my thoughts to see what we're going to do. I try really hard to impress upon people how important it is to follow the training in the way that it is. We've seen amazing progress with Jake because we've been concentrating fully on him, focusing on him. Add another dog that's a reactive dog too. And it's going to undo all of the training that we've done with Jake. I'm sorry, but I just think some people are playing stupid. And that's all I can say. I don't think they get it. On the other hand, I'm here for Jake, and I want to help as much as possible with the little time I have left. I wanted to take the training a little bit further and to work with the person that Jake hates most, which is Peter. <laughs> Jakey. I usually terrorize the dog. Every time you come over, he pees. All right, so Peter's outside. I'm going to get him to knock, and then uh, we'll see what it's like. If Jake can cope with Peter and Lisa can get the training right, that means significant progress will have been made. Jakey? Jake? Jake? Mm. Lisa. Lisa, okay. remember? He's put his fingers through the slot. Why is Peter putting fingers through the slot? He does. So the dog's not going to... He's antagonizing the dog. What language was I speaking to Peter when I asked him not to tease Jake anymore? Whatever it was, he didn't understand it. He's doing it again. Lisa, relax. Can you tell your brother to stop putting his fingers through the letterbox? Peter! Stop yes. putting your fingers through the box. Oh, OK, I'm sorry. Why he was putting his fingers through the mailbox and wriggling them at Jake and hearing Jake's frustration barking and then he continued to do it is beyond me. Hi. Here. No, Lisa. You, you want to let, let the person coming in to know not to proceed up to the steps so quickly. Yeah. Okay. Pause, let Jake get calm, give him a treat, and then you let the so person proceed. Did he start at the bottom? Yeah, he stands okay. at the bottom and waits bottom. for Correct. Jake to stop barking. Go to the bottom. I totally froze, screwed up. The dog was getting too upset. He wasn't paying attention to the food because he's too terrified of Peter. I just totally forgot everything she said. I was just like, what do I do? Jakey. Hello. Don't When Peter came in and Lisa was selected to walk Peter in and walk him through it, that had failure written all over it from the get-go. He really doesn't like it. He's 
terrified. Mm -hmm. Every little movement, he's terrified. Absolutely terrified of you, Peter. I put a lot of time, effort, commitment to training, and I work really hard to make things work. But it tries my patience when people just don't get it. We, we have all of this crew in the house, okay? All of these big men walking around. And for days he hasn't reacted to them. He's totally Good comfortable boy. with them. Good boy. And it's okay. the fact that he has this history of you teasing okay. him and you've scared him to the point where he actually had to urinate and defecate. It's okay. Good I think boy. you might have just sealed the deal with him. It's um, okay. Good I, I really do. That he's yeah. just too he's just too frightened of you. I don't think we'll put him through it anymore. Thank you. It's okay. okay. Yeah, thanks a lot. Peter has terrorized Jake enough that I don't think that relationship is salvageable. So when I saw Jake getting so upset, I just thought the best thing was for Peter to leave. I didn't know he was that afraid of Peter. He just you said, didn't? Oh, Not that bad. The dog urinated defecated on your sofa. That's when you were laughing. I know. That's when you were laughing. This dog does not deserve to be treated in this way. And you know, it just makes me so angry. This dog does not deserve to be treated in this way. And you know, it just makes me so angry. Lisa will try very hard to do what's right. But because of pressure and trying too much to not fail, she sets herself up for failure. And then once that happens, it's like a stone tumbling downhill. You know, I'll train everybody. This no, dog will be a different dog. I know. Michael, I think you've, you've really made changes. Do you know what I mean? You've really made changes. And, and, and you're doing really well. At least he just glazed. Just glazed. Victoria thinks sometimes I'm not listening, but I am. I feel like I clash with Michael and Lisa, especially Lisa, because her way of dealing with things is to laugh and smile and make light of it or to retreat into a corner. All right, well, that was an absolutely resounding disaster. Even with the difficulty of getting the family on board with the training, I feel like Jake is a much more confident dog now. He's holding himself better, he's not cowering as much. What we have here is a dog responding to the training so well and becoming confident. What I need is the family to also respond to the training as well. Before I came, what did you think about what I was gonna do? I didn't think you'd have any success. But then I experienced your fairy dust, and when you sprinkled it over, Jake, I absolutely think it's been working. I'm very impressed. After everything I've shown the Sanders, I'm anxious about leaving. Are they gonna keep up with the training? I wish I could be more positive about it, but I'm just worried. I'll be thinking of you, okay? We will try our hardest. There are no guarantees in life. I can't guarantee that Lisa will do it. I can't guarantee that Jess will do it, but I know I'll try, and hopefully they will too. Since Victoria left, Jake's more mellow. He's not as aggressive. His behavior has kind of calmed down a little bit. Jessica is a lot better with Jake. And she started playing with him, and he hasn't bit her at all. He hasn't growled, nothing. I'm going to go to bed. All right. Okay. No more princess room for me. The treats, I don't have to do as much anymore when I enter or exit the bedroom. He's actually a good boy. He's not, not aggressive anymore. Uh, if I do have to get up in the middle of the night, He's all right with it. I'm pleasantly surprised at how much success the family's having with the training, and I think a lot of that has to do with Michael. He's been working really hard. Okay. Wrong bag, wrong bag, wrong bag. You're not gonna have enough treats in there. Wait till they quiet down. Unfortunately, Taylor's arrival has had the effect that I thought on Jake's behavior. It's very difficult to train a dog when there's another reactive dog in the house. The main thing is people coming in and going out. He's been like 75% better. I know I have a lot to learn. I'm practicing, but I think that ultimately Jake will benefit. 
No, please uh, step away. Step away. Oh, let's go. go. When guests come over, I typically will take the lead. Lisa's not quite there yet. Um, it's going to require a little bit more training her, I would think. I really hope Taylor doesn't stay with them for very much longer because it's hampering Jake's recovery. Good boy. Even though we still bicker and fight over maybe training techniques or just things in general, Jake's a lot happier. He's not as agitated all the time, and he hasn't bitten anybody. In terms of the shock collar, I haven't even given it a thought. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.